Okay, in today's video, we are going to calculate the potential difference through which a point charge is moved. And this is the problem we're going to do. We're given it takes a certain amount of work, 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules actually, to move a positive 4 microcoulomb charge between two points. We want to know what is the potential difference between those two points. All right, now, if you're taking AP Physics, this equation is the magic equation. It is on your AP Physics equation sheet. Even if you're not taking AP Physics, okay, this is the equation you're going to use. Now, you can see it says the change in potential energy, delta UE is the change in electric potential energy, is equal to the amount of charge and the potential difference to which that charge is moved. Now, you should remember that the change in potential energy is equal to the amount of work just like with gravitational potential energy. When you do work, you change its potential energy. When you change the potential energy of something, you must do work. So this is equal to the amount of work. Now, we don't want, we don't want to find the amount of work or the change of potential energy because we're given that plus 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules of work. We want to find the potential difference. Well, the change in potential is the potential difference. So we're going to solve this equation for the potential difference. And it equals the change in potential energy divided by the amount of charge. Okay, That's kind of the definition of potential energy, joules per coulomb. Voltage, potential difference, change in potential is measured in joules per coulomb. So this is the equation we're going to use. We're just going to plug the numbers in. I just want to point out before we do that, that we have to make sure that we keep our signs. Now, in this case, this is positive and this is positive. It does say 6.5. Now, it doesn't say positive 6.5, but it does say 6.5. And that means it's positive. And that means we're doing positive work. Okay, and this is a positive charge. Now, you can do negative work and you can't have negative charges. So you want to make sure you use your signs. In this case, they're both positive. Okay, so we're going to just say that the change in potential, we're going to divide that by the change in potential energy. 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules divided by the amount of charge. Now, this says 4 micro coulombs. 4 times 10 to the minus 6. 10 to the minus 6 is micro, so it's 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. As I just said, joules per coulomb is potential, or joules per coulomb is volts, and that's the unit we use for potential. So if we have 6.5, if we do positive 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules, and we move a certain amount of charge, 4.6, 4.04 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs through a potential, then that potential must be 1,625 volts. Okay? I think that's pretty straightforward. Just plug the numbers in. Don't forget, it could be negative and it could be positive in this size. In this case, all our signs are positive, and therefore the answer is going to be positive. Okay? That's it. That's the voltage. That's the potential difference for that much work and that much charge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a nice comment in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.